You can easily import flash animations and GIF animations inside of Adobe Captivate. So in order to import those animations, you simply go to media right over here and there's animation as an option. So simply click on this one and navigate to the area where your flash or GIF animation is located. And over here, you can see that the supported file types is SWF and GIF. So I'm just going to select the flash animation file right over here and press open and you can see right over here. But flash animation is very good if you want to create a standalone uh, type of an executable file, but usually for web, this is not a very good choice as of now because flash is not supported in many browsers. But anyways, right over here, I have this animation right over here. So if I were to preview this out, so if I were to preview this project, let's see how that actually looks like. The flash animation plays out till the length, just like that, as you can see. So besides that, what you can also do is you can work around with its effects, as you can see. So you can make it a bit transparent. You can also add in shadows, as you can see right over here, and the objects within the flash animation, they have shadows right over there, just like that. So you can go over here, you can work around with the amount of blur, you can work around with the distance and so forth right over there. So you can go around and work around with the color. So let's say I'm going to go around with the red one right over here. You can also change the angles, the opacity right over here. So let me really make it dark just like that. So that is how you can work around with it. You can also go for outer shadows and inner shadows just like that in inner or outer as you can see. So let's just go for outer shadows just like that. And then let me just increase the level of opacity right over here and then a bit of distance. So what happens is that the animation follows as well. So if I were to preview the project right over here, let's see how that actually looks like. You can see that the shadow gets animated as well. So each of the individual objects in the flash animation will act just like that. So that is how you can work around with flash animation. You can work around with the angles and everything else as well. So there's alpha channel. You can also set a source file. So if you have an editable file that you can link it up with the source file as well. So what happens is that whenever you want to make edit to the flash animation, then it is already here. So that's what you can do. You can also work with the object state and timing is there as well as you can see. So you can work around with the transition on how they appear. You can also loop this animation right over here and preview this on the rest of the slide right over here. Display for rest of the slide and play this out. So let's see how this looks like right over here. So you can see right over here that it now uh, keeps on playing till the end of the slide right here and the animation will keep on looping right over there. So now if I were to increase the length right over here, just like that, if I were to increase the length and preview the project right over here, what happens is that it keeps on animating as it goes, as I turn on the loop, just like that. So that is how you can import in animations in Adobe Captivate. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.